American 475. Check transponder setting. Squawking correct request. All aircraft on 120. I accept American 475. Contact 128.5 immediately. We have an emergency in progress. American 475, go ahead. We will proceed to your airport. American 475, turn right, heading 120, vectors for ILS runway 09. When ready, descend to height 600 meters, 2000 feet. Report established on the localizer. Wilco, there's someone here who wants to talk with you. Go ahead. Listen, listen carefully. I'm the head of the commander group that took over the aircraft. How do you dare to command us? I only follow orders from our leader. Sorry, sir. I was just trying to facilitate your approach to the airport. Okay, then you tell your authorities that our group is demanding the immediate release of our comrade Win Sudden, a van and three million dollars. Should the authorities fail in delivering this within two hours after our arrival, we will kill one passenger every half an hour and simultaneously we will attack some other American targets. Is it clear for you? Uh, can you spell the name of the person you want the authorities to release? B I N S A double G E N. And one more thing we don't want to see vehicles, people, or planes approaching our airplane, or we will blow it uh, with everybody inside. We are not playing, do you understand? Affirmative, sir, I understand. Radar, American 475. The hijacker just left the cockpit. Apparently there was a shootout in the passenger cabin. We have seen three hijackers so far, and they have two handguns, one machine gun, five knives, and two grenades. Shut up, shut up, he's coming back. Radar, American 475. Could you get some medical attention for us upon arrival? One adult passenger was shot dead and two more are bullet wounded. We also need an auxiliary power plant, fresh water, and food, and the hijackers want the aircraft to be refueled. A Roger, coordinating for medical assistance. American 475, the paramedics want to know what the condition of the wounded passenger is. Not good, sir. He's bleeding profusely. Actually, he's lost a lot of blood. He is unconscious and we think his age should be in the late 30s. Roger, I'll pass this information to medical personnel. We already made arrangements for an ambulance in case the hijackers would release the wounded passenger. On the 8th of September 2005, Saudi Arabian Airlines 747-300, while taxiing for takeoff on an international flight from Colombo to Saudi Arabia, Air traffic controllers received an anonymous telephone call concerning a possible bomb on the aircraft. The crew was informed about this call and decided to perform an emergency evacuation. As a result of the evacuation, there were 62 injuries among the 430 passengers and 22 crew members. One of the passengers died as a result of injuries received during the evacuation and 19 passengers were hospitalized. No explosive devices were found. On the 10th of January 2008, Air Canada A319 was on a domestic flight from Victoria to Toronto. The aircraft encountered moderate to severe turbulence while in the vicinity of the Canadian Rockies. The crew diverted to Calgary where injured passengers and crew members were treated for minor injuries. The aircraft was not seriously damaged and there were no fatalities among the five crew members or 83 passengers. On the 9th of July 2006, Sibir Airlines Airbus 310-300 was on a scheduled flight from Moscow to Irkutsk. The weather at Irkutsk included a low overcast rain and thunderstorms in the area. The aircraft landed on the runway but was unable to stop on the runway. After departing the runway, the aircraft collided with a concrete structure, broke up and caught fire. 
five of the eight crew members and 119 of the 195 passengers were killed.